Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the CEREC Acquisition Center 2. In this video, you will receive technical information about the hardware. With the help of short video sequences, we will demonstrate the following procedures. Attaching the cable holder, removal and reattachment of the service cover, and insertion and removal of the battery as well as removing and reattaching the scanner and exchanging the O-ring. To begin with, we will show how the cable holder is attached to the service cover. The cable holder is included in the delivery. It is tilted slightly to click it into the ventilation slots of the service flap. This allows you to securely store the charging cable of the CEREC Acquisition Center and to easily move the acquisition center between treatment rooms. To access different ports, such as HDMI and USB, among others, you can remove and reattach the service cover. Use a flathead screwdriver to position the screw slot vertically and pull the cover down. Several guidance latches are mounted on both sides of the cover and the back side of the acquisition center. These need to be aligned in order to remove the cover. To reattach the cover, make sure that the latches are on the same level and the service cover is evenly positioned against the acquisition center before pushing the cover into its final position. Then the slot of the screw head can be returned to a horizontal position. A battery for the CEREC Acquisition Center 2 is not included with the delivery, but it can be ordered and added at any time. With the battery, you can perform treatments for a certain length of time without a power cord. Depending on how it's used, the charge may last for up to 6 hours. The battery can be inserted and removed in just a few steps. First of all, remove the service cover. The battery is placed into the lower part of the acquisition center. Remove the two marked screws. They will be needed later to fasten the battery. There are two guide rails inside the casing, as well as two holes for guide pins for the final and secure placement of the battery. The battery also has guide rails, as well as two guide pins, which are used to place the battery in its final position. The two screws are used for fastening the battery inside the casing. Afterwards, the service cover is reattached and the battery is fully functional. No settings need to be adjusted. Should it become necessary to change the battery, it can be removed just as easily. We release the two screws and pull the battery out. If needed, the scanner can be detached from the acquisition center. To do this, the acquisition center should be turned off with the main switch set to the zero position. If you want to transport the acquisition center, it is recommended to store the scanner separately and securely inside the box that was included with the delivery. It is not possible to switch from an Omnican to a Prime Scan this way. That would require further installations. To make such an exchange, please contact your trading partner. The scanner is attached to the acquisition center with a plug connection. To release it, hold both parts of the assembly tightly and pull them straight apart. To reassemble them, make sure that the guiding lugs engage with each other. Lastly, we will address exchanging the O-ring of the scanner. This can be changed if necessary. 
To remove it, we grasp the retaining ring of the scanner with thumb and forefinger and pinch the O-ring. Then we push both fingers up so that the O-ring is partly lifted from the groove. Next, we grasp the bulging part and pull out the O-ring. To insert an O-ring, place it into the groove in one spot, then carefully push the rest of it into the groove with your thumb and forefinger. This should be done without applying any force to avoid overstretching and deforming the O-ring. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.